Given a network IP address of 211.123.83.0, so the following questions, if eight subnets are, are to be created, the eight subnets include the network and broadcast addresses. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, write down the information that we have available to us, uh, which isn't too much. Again, it's uh, 211.123.83.0. And we know we need um, eight subnets. We are going to need our um, equations that we had last time, where we uh, 2 to the x equals the number of subnets created, 2 to the y minus x equals the number of hosts per subnet, where x equals the number of bits borrowed, and y equals the number of host bits for the class of the network. We also have our little table here that uh, tells us the number of host bits for each class. And lastly, tells us what ranges the IP addresses are in. So the first piece of information that we're going to want to grab, we, we know we need eight subnets. Um, so that's 2 to the x equals 8. Uh, so that's going to be 2 to the third, because 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. x equals 3. So the next piece of information that we need is y. Uh, y equals the number of host bits. And if we look at our little table here, um, we have to figure out what range our address is in that we're, we're talking about. Uh, if we look at our address, uh, we have a 211. 211 falls between 192 and 223, so that means we have a class C address. Class C, the number of host bits is 8, so it looks like Y is 8. Y equals 8. I believe that's all we need to start cranking out our numbers. Uh, so we know we have 8 subnets already. That was given to us by the question. Uh, we have the number of bits borrowed. Uh, this is also going to be used to determine our, our mask. And 8 is the number of host bits. So let's go ahead and solve uh, 2 to the... Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this equation here, 2 to the y minus x. So uh, two, 2 to the fifth which 2 to the 5th equals 32. 32 is equal to the number of hosts per subnet. Because uh, that's what our equation tells us here. 2 to the y minus x equals the number of hosts per subnet. We need to determine our mask. And like I said, we're going to take a look at the number of bits borrowed. So we're going to look at the last octet, especially since we're dealing with the last... Uh, we're dealing with 8 host bits here. So we're going to have our 255.255.255. Uh, we'll go ahead and write out our binary values here. Uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. X comes into play. If we borrowed 3 bits, uh, we're going to borrow 1, 2, 3 bits and make the rest zeros here. We're going to add these together. 128 plus 64 is 192 plus 32 is 224. And so now we have our mask. So we can start filling in our table here. Dot 224. How many, uh, we also need to determine the number of hosts per subnet. Um, that was solved by two to, the y, 2 to the y minus x, as you remember. Uh, number of hosts per subnet is 32. Uh, you could also annotate, perhaps, if you wanted to, 30 usable. So now we can start filling in the rest of the table. So how do we do that? Well, we know that the first three octets are masked. So we can go ahead and fill out our table here of 12383. I guess we'll just take a little shortcut here. We always start with the zero subnet. 
and we're going to start adding uh, the size of our subnet. Uh, the size of our subnet is 32, so we're going to add 0 plus 32 is 32, uh, 32 plus 32 is 64, 64 plus 32 is 96, 96 plus 32 is 128, plus 32 is 224, 224 plus 32 is 256, and of course we can't have a 256 subnet. Um, knowing the now knowing the subnets, we're able to determine the broadcast addresses. Broadcast addresses uh, look just like the normal address, except uh, the broadcast address is the last address before the next subnet starts. The next subnet starts at 32, so we're going to make sure that's a 31. Uh, the 32 subnet has a broadcast address of 63. And 256 is the start of the next one. That doesn't exist, but 255 is the broadcast for the last subnet.